Pizza Mod 2020 Multiplayer Pro Mods with the full physics. And this video is a, going to be a short run from Helsinki to Nantali. And it will prove to point that you can actually drive safely with the Wintermod physics installed. So long as you drive to the conditions of the road. faster we do stand to a chance of spinning out which will not be good as you come to the bend you wind it down no need to boot it because this does have slippy physics and if you boot it and you get out of shape, you are running at risk of a punishment of the moderating team. So if you have the full-on physics, adapt your driving style to suit the physics of the game. Remember, it's not a race. There's more than enough time to get from point A to point B without hooning around. Try not to use the retarder. Instead, use your service brake. Gentle applications. kind of glares, burns everything out. So leave your lights on your dip settings. driving in snow and ice, slippy conditions, you need to adjust your speed accordingly. You can't expect your truck to handle the same as it will do in the dry, on the dry pavement. If 
it is just physically not possible to do so. You need 10 to 15 times more room to slow down. If you intend on driving the Calais to Jerrysburg route, I strongly recommend that you do not use the physics. Just use the visuals. The physics on the Calais to Jerrysburg route will get you into a lot of trouble. However, here we are. This is our pickup point. Where we're going. It's just a short trip to Nantali. That's where we gotta position our truck. So we swing it round. Find the window down so I can stick your head out. outside. Um, let's scroll through the dashboard.
Oh yeah, minus 70 degrees. There we are, you know. Of course this speedo is a metric, so I need the uh, display up, because my main primary dial is in Imperial. So here we go. And the thing is with using winter mod, spot of bother and get reported. Sorry, no winter mod admin. Doesn't work. This video will prove to you that you can drive on the TMP servers with other players about with the physics on. You respect those physics. And this game's all about respect. Respecting the other players, respecting the physics of the game. You do that, you will be fine. seven. That load is toast. How did I know they were going to change? City. We're now leaving Helsinki on our way up to Nantali. So now we'll be driving at about 65 kilometers per hour. Speed limit is 70, so we'll be. There we are. Don't use your cruise control. Although the temptation is there to use the cruise control, do not use it. For both. The moment you lose traction, your truck will want to compensate, and it will spin you round. And if because of that you have a collision with another player, you run the risk of a ban. So do not use your cruise control, do not use your retarders on its open settings. Possibly you might get away with it on setting number one, but I do not recommend it. Allow yourself more time to slow down. Don't try to hammer it up to the junction at the very last minute and slam your brakes on, because that will jackknife you. I also 
well recommend that if you are using a keyboard, do not use the physics. Driving is tactile. likely to have issues. Here we have a quite a complex junction. So again we need to keep slow. Be aware of any other players coming up behind who may not using winter mod so be careful and be courteous to them remember they're using dry physics you're using slippy physics so be aware and the same goes for anybody else if you are using the visuals but not using the physics and you see winter mod as a tag just be aware happens to have winter mod in their tag. Don't slam your anchors on. Slow down gradually. Give them time to stop. If you're using the winter physics, give yourself plenty of time to stop. You need 10 times the distance to stop. So if it takes a hundred meters to stop normally, you need a kilometer to slow down with the winter physics. So drive accordingly. Here's a 80 kilometer per hour road and I'm doing 70. I don't need to go any faster. So if you've got somebody coming on a single carriageway road, be prepared that they may want to get past you. If somebody is trying to overtake you, They've got dry physics. Don't fight them. Let them buy. Let them go by. Let them get on with their journey. Yeah. It's not a racing game. The only thing that you have to worry about is that. The time remaining. That's all you need to worry about.
about single player, if you reload the previous save, the time on multiplayer does not uh, reset, it carries on going. choice to use the physics and the, to use the winter physics mod. Use it wisely. You cannot be held responsible for other people's mistakes. However, you can be held responsible for your own mistake. And using winter mod it's your choice. So therefore, if you have a accident and you take somebody else out and they report you, you have to live with those consequences. Take responsibility for your own actions. anybody having any issues that's how it should be and that's how it can be remember rotor simulation you are a professional driver whether you're driving for Viva for Prime for Prize Lady Bear for whoever. If you're driving for a VTC, drive professionally. Drive according to the physics. Remember, when you put that VTC tag up in your name, you represent that VTC. And a good reputation is hard to earn. so easy to lose. And the last thing VTCs want are for their players get banned because he had an accident using winter mod. So even though the server is capped it's 110 don't do 110 the speed limit 70 do 60 
Speed limit's 80. Do 70. Probably want to dive. There we are. This load is safely delivered. And there we go.